if you're like me and you know what, you want to set a little off-grid solar setup, there's one thing you're going to need to get, and that's a solar controller. And let's just go over everything on it right here. I've already taken it out and kind of looked over it and seen what you had to do with it. It's a uh, natural cooling, suitable for lead acid and lithium ion batteries, activation for li lithium ion batteries, which is optional, RS485 communication. I do not know what that is. <laughs> Intelligent interactive experience. How about that? RV, campers, uh, industrial, commercial uses, basically what I'm using it for, some off-grid setup. I'm just going to show you all real quick on how I set it up here, and then I'm going to go and do a full-on setup later, but right now we're just going to verify that it works. You see it's an MPPT-60 amp charge controller, so I've already taken it out. It was definitely packaged a lot better than this. So looking over the unit itself, you see how it is. You've got the solar panel comes out, it goes in right there. The battery plus minus goes out right there. Then you can put a load on it, whether it's like a um, like a light bulb or something like that, just to have a load put on it to kind of monitor it. And this is going to be for like a remote control, which you can get that remote control aftermarket. You get a couple little solar connectors there and some mounting hardware right there. Little set of instructions, but you know what? It's pretty simple to follow. I thought it was pretty simple to follow. Oh yeah, so you notice you can't access any screws. So how you're gonna mount it is you're gonna actually run pull these two screws out, pull this little bottom cover off, then we'll put the wires in. So I have my multimeter here. We'll go ahead and we'll hook up the panel first. Then I'll verify we're getting power out of the panel. Then I'll run through the solar controller. Then I'll run into the battery. So let's get this set up. Now. Okay, so we went ahead and got the solar panel hooked up and let's just verify that it works. Let's go to 200 volts there. And let's see what we got coming out of here. 35.8 volts coming out of this thing. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show y'all real quick how to wire up a solar controller on here. Take that one off and all that does is pull off just like that. And y'all see down in there. Okay, so I just went ahead and got the positive and the negative in there. Peel that little cover off. So as soon as I got the positive and negative in there, you can see that our status is on standby. We have 35.3 uh, volts coming in. I don't know how well you can see it on the camera there, but you see 35.3 and then going out is zero. So right now we have our 34 volts coming in. I'll just uh, spiked up and down. So now let's go ahead, let's hook our battery up and see how well it starts charging our battery. Okay, so I've got the solar controller all hooked up. Let me show you what I did here. So you got the solar panel right here, which is a 200 watt solar panel coming out, going in right here and then going out right here. This is a LiFo 4 12.8 volt 100 amp hour lithium ion phosphate battery. So what you're going to do in the controller here, you can see I've got up to 148 0.2 watts coming in, which is 28 volts, 13.6 going out. So it will not overcharge this. And let me show you, let's go down into the settings. So to go into the settings, you're going to hold down the enter button. You got the DC output battery. So I'm going to go enter right there, lead acid. Let's go down to lipo four right there, enter. We've got six points. So I need to go up. I'm just showing you how to set. I'm a 12.8 volt enter or we go back on that, we are back there, go back on that, go down to charging current, 60 amps, go back on that. And that's how you set up the battery. So what I did, I went ahead and set everything up and this thing is working great, everybody. We have got a charge coming out of here. Let's check our, our battery right here, 13.7 coming out right there. I don't see any issues with this thing at all. I think this would be a great option for anyone that just wants to do a solar kind of off-grid setup, whether it's in an RV or on the side of your house. There it is, everybody. That's all I got on the 60 amp solar controller. See you on the next video.